I'm in Guangzhou. It's two hours away from Shenzhen, and today I'm going to show you their one of their uh, automated robot restaurant. Let's go. Let's take a look. You can see. Oh, this is the Kuka robot robotic arm. This is very expensive, and you can see this kind of looks like my bar bot. But they are mounted on the ceiling. A different kind of cocktails. All right, what are those? Those are beer. Hello. 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 So this is a Cantonese uh, restaurant. Their main cuisine is Cantonese, right? And hot, hot clay pot, uh, sorry, clay pot rice is one of our main uh, cuisine in Guangzhou. You see, you see all those pot. I don't know how they do it. I have to order it to see it works. But all this stuff, compared to the one I show you in Shenzhen, it really looks like kind of looks like industry, like a factory to me. I don't see a lot of workers over here. Maybe one or two, the cashier and uh, the lady who told me to just scan the QR code to order food. Even we are in a robotic restaurant, we still follow our traditions. We have to wash our utensils by hand. All right. So I have to order this burger. Oh, okay, no problem. So this is a burger place. Ro burger robot. I just ordered a lot of burgers. I just ordered a lot of burgers. I just ordered a lot of burgers. I just Restaurant is for Cantonese food. Outside is for burger and beverage. So only one burger. All right. Let's bite it. And... All right. Let's see. I have placed the order, and that's the, that's the number V seven one two six. So this is the burger wrap. The paper wrap wrapping the burger. Ah, first the bu bun coming out, going in, and the burger patty is coming out also. I saw the sauce over there. Are they putting the sauce on now? Is that pickle? Uh -huh. Yeah, there is a conveyor belt. Oh, oh, the bun is messed up! How come? Oh my god, one side. This one, this one, it's all left. 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 It's all this is the patty, okay? They put the. So they use the suction cup to suck the uh, bun, and then there is the mayonnaise coming out from. What is it called? The bottle? Yeah. And that's it. It's going to wrap it. It takes a second to wrap it strange. Does he use his? Ah, oh, no, just a sticker. Ah. Oh, okay. And now I'm scanning the code to uh, retrieve my burger. Hi, Ah. Okay, let's open it. As you can see, this part is messed up. If there is a human monitoring 
uh, they will know that it's messed up and swap another one to you. But because it's robot, it's, you know, kind of stupid. This has arrived, my Chinese, my Cantonese food. Okay, this is the beef. So what is in that? I saw that there is a sensor, infrared sensor. And it's gonna close from the ceiling. They are both coming. So this dish is Hong Shao Liu Le Tiao. It's a barbecue uh, beef, uh, stir fried beef ribs with some vegetable. You can see carrots, uh, potato, and maybe this is some melon or something. Yes, a kind of melon. Okay, it looks a little weird, but let me try a bite. So I can make better. I like the patty, but the bun needs some work. So this is the second dish I order. I have to press the button. Oh, see, it asked me to press a button. This is the roasted chicken I order. Okay. So this is the delivery robot. It has three layers. And there is an emergency button on the side so that if there is a child, a kid that put their hands in and it's closing, you can put push the uh, emergency button. I like it. And this is the roasted chicken. Let me try it. Looks good. But... The taste is right, but the skin is not crispy at all. all right. Let's see what it is. Yes, this is the fried milk something. Fried milk doke. There is milk inside. And this is the dessert, the Cantonese dessert. It, it's very good. Mm. I like it. This one. It's good. More food is coming. Ah, I ordered a pigeon. I forgot. Okay. Stops for a minute, strange. How come? Right? So when I press the button on the table, it opens. This is pigeon. It's very also very a famous dish, Cantonese dish. I hope this one is crispy. This one is crispy. The taste is totally right. So this is the K-pop rice I order. There are preserved, preserved sausage, traditional preserved uh, Cantonese sausage, and this is pork, preserved pork. Uh, in autumns, my grandmother used to do that. Uh, they put it outside, like kind of like a uh, Spain. What is it called? Like a cold cut meat. They also put it uh, dry outside the balcony to dry it. And this is just uh, Cantonese vegetable. Cow. This is just cow. And at the bottom, here's the rice. It didn't burn at all. Usually when human make it, at the bottom it would be a little burn. But I don't see any burn. There's no burn. It's only rice. Okay, let me try it. The rice is not as hard as um, the one that made by human. It's a little bit soggy, kind of like they steam it, but uh, the texture is okay. It's not bad. So I ordered all this food just to show you guys how the robot works. But we, we now we have our ongoing campaign in China. No leftovers. So I'm going to bring all this food back to my hotel and eat it as breakfast. Wu Yan, 